power down to clear spoiler insulation specialists. Right, today's installation is a conventional to combination boiler upgrade, that's what we call it. So you've got your regular old Baxi boiler coming out of the garage here, and we're gonna put a combination boiler up in the loft. So this comes out, all the power comes out. Now with a combination boiler, there's instantaneous hot water, so you don't have no air in cupboard anymore. Hot water cylinder gets taken out. This boiler gets taken out of a regular boiler. The cold water storage tank and the feed and expansion tank in the loft. All gets taken out, you just have a combination boiler, which is instantaneous hot water on demand. So, but what we need to um, think about is a 22 mil gas supply to the boiler. It obviously needs a little bit more gas on hot water demand. So, the gas meter is in the garage here. We're gonna take a 22 mil supply and we're going to take that up into the loft. So, obviously always brush it, protect carpets, things like that. Very important to protect the dust with property. So this is what's going in. What's the third to our combination boiler? Once again, the trusted whistle filter to protect the heating system and to make sure that boiler lasts as long as possible. 10 year guarantee parts of labour on that. Straight from Worcester, so anything goes wrong, to call out to Worcester, they fix it, parts of labour unlimited. Tank comes out, all is gonna go in that chimney breast up there. And all this here, the old airing cupboard, the old pump out rise valve, it all comes out, and we're just gonna need all this pipe work up. All we're gonna do is just have them go up against the battens there, to the boiler, and it's a nice simple job and that's it really so i'll do a video once all this is complete but this is like day-to-day -day general installation thank you very much hello there right okay then well that's the hot water cylinder out that's the boiler out that's what we'll do right away what we do recycle the metal so it's all responsibly disposed of correctly put that in there there we go that's the boiler out there, hot water cylinder, and now we can start the uh, combination water installation. Thank you. Hello there, Chris Border Installation Specialist. Now our boiler combination boiler's gone in the loft and we're gonna be taking the flue through the roof. So we call that a vertical flue. So we're not gonna be drilling a hole through the wall and going out the wall with the flue, we're gonna be coming out the roof. So all that entails is getting our ladders, roof ladders up, climbing on the roof of the house and putting the flue through the roof obviously so what we've got here we have our roof ladders there coming up we climb up them we're taking a tile out just one roof tile put our lead roof flashing through under tucked under the tiles so that's all weatherproof we'll put our flue through we haven't cut it yet and we're right next to a chimney stack so as long as it's not a non as long as it's a non-working chimney, so it's not used as a gas fire or a wood burn or anything like that, we can be 500 millimeters away from that. Have to be 500 millimeters minimum. If it is a working chimney, then this flue has to be 1.5. So it'd have to be over here, 1.5 meters away from that. So as it's not a working chimney, we're only a half a meter away from that. So what we've done, we put that through. We've marked it up. I'll take that back out. And as you can see here, we have our marking here. We'll cut that and then we'll put it back through and then we'll go and uh, do the rest of the work in the loft. Okay, so this is a vertical flue installation. Thank you. taken out the air and comes completely so that's all empty for the customer to gain more space and the boiler is on the chimney stack in the loft and we just pull all the supplies up from one side of the air and covered wall straight to the boiler and as you can see with the flue the flue has gone straight through the roof and what we do with these we screw it we joint and we also clip it at every section of flue pipe as well so 
where you literally can hang off that, it's not going anywhere. So in weather conditions and, you know, really bad weather conditions, windy conditions, that blue is not going anywhere. And obviously, that's what the manufacturers want as well. So, perfect on the blue there. All our, all our leg, uh, pipes are legs, fully legs. That's cross protection. Uh, with the customer's existing shower, we've got isolation valves for the shower. So, any maintenance for that in the future, you just turn it off by the isolation valves we put in. We've got a nice 22 mil gas supply to the boiler. It's all been commissioned. And this obviously comes with a 10 year guarantee, uh, which we'll pass over to the customer. So, Worcester will come out and look after that parcel label limit for 10 years. And yeah, so. Uh, there is, we'll hand this over to the customer. Just one more point the boiler. The combi is a pressurized system, pressurized to one bar, but the customer doesn't want to keep on coming up here to repressurize it. So, what we'll do in order to fill the radios up with water, you have to manually put uh, water into the system. So, we put that gadget where you manually put water into the system in the airing cupboard with a separate gauge. So um, if the customer ever loses pressure or needs to be the radiator and takes pressure out of the system, the customer can keep an eye on the pressure in the air covered as opposed to having the people coming up here. So everything's been thought of and um, that's it really. So that's all closed. Now the pump right over the customer and we'll see you next year for service. Thank you very much.